Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel once again. My name's Cameron, it's your boy once again. Today we're gonna to be dropping some more information on Windows. Today we're gonna to look at Windows 10 specifically to look at the best gaming performance possible. Went ahead and started rocking the face cam again because I know you guys miss my beautiful face. I'm gonna fire my editor. Oh wait, that's me. So yeah guys, some people overlook um, the fact that there are so many Windows 10 settings you guys can actually tweak to improve your performance in Fortnite. There's not a lot of content on it, so I thought I'd provide some helpful tips. And yeah, we're just going to speed fire through all the best settings available in Windows 10 to give you the max FPS possible. If you guys go on to enjoy this video, all I ask is that you leave a like and consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. I make videos like this all the time, trying to help you guys improve at the game, doing guide videos. And who knows guys, maybe if I actually start making money on this channel, I might do a little giveaway. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. So if you and many, many others like yourselves have never looked at your Windows 10 settings, this is the video for you because bad Windows settings makes you kind of want to jump out of a window. The first thing that is really easy that not a lot of people know about is Windows 10 actually has a game mode option. And if you haven't looked at this before, this is really worth looking at. So come down here to your little search bar, just type in game mode, and you'll see here it says game mode settings at the top, just click that. It'll give you this window here, and as you can see, we already have game mode on because uh, 200 IQ. But if you guys actually have it off, you'll want to turn that on. It says here that the game mode, when it is on, will actually optimize your PC for play. This can actually have a really good positive impact on your frames per second when you're playing Fortnite. So guys, if that didn't blow your mind enough, there's actually a setting I haven't seen any other videos talk about, and you can actually optimize your PC to actually perform better when playing Fortnite. So check this out. If you come down here to the bottom left and you click the search bar, type in graphics settings, and you'll see it here at the very top, graphics settings. We're gonna open that. So guys, once you actually have that pulled up here, as you can see, it says it'll customize graphic performance preference for specific app applications. Um, preference may provide better app performance or save battery life. So the reason why you'll wanna do this is because you can actually browse here and you're just gonna wanna look for Fortnite. It might show up under desktop. If you don't see it here, no problem. In the top right, just type in Fortnite. Um, once you type it in, it'll find it for you. So you'll select that and then go ahead and click add. Once you guys click that, it'll show right here. It'll just look like a blue button. Don't worry about that though. Just click options. And here you can actually change it from system default to high performance. The reason you wanna choose high performance is it's gonna make your graphics card work better, perform better when you're playing Fortnite, which is awesome. So you go ahead and click save and basically you're good to go, baby. One last thing actually, if you're doing this for any other game, if you play any other games frequently, definitely go ahead and add them. I have Sims 4, so I can type in Sims 4. And you're just gonna wanna do that for every single game that you play. And the reason being is it's just gonna make it work a whole lot better. So as you can see, the same for Sims 4. Just go to high performance, hit save. That baby's all good to go. All right, so the next thing I wanna share with you guys is adjusting performance for like windows and tasks and stuff. So it's uh, there's actually a nice setting for um, limiting this because what these extra visualizations do, like for instance, if you click the this icon, you see how it like pulled open slowly, like a cascade kind of scroll open uh, effect, that can actually slow down your computer. So believe it or not, there's a way to adjust this so you're gonna type down here, adjust, A-D-G-U-S-T, and then you'll see here at the very top, it says adjust the appearance and performance of windows. So go ahead and click that. That'll give you this little window here. And as you can see, there's like all tons of, like tons of things it does. It's fade or slide menus into view, fade or slide tooltips, use drop shadows. None of this actually affects the way any of your, um, it, it doesn't affect being able to get from A to B, like navigating Windows 10. So what you can do, there's actually this button here, adjust for best performance. You can just click that. And as you would know, it just turns off everything here. If you guys do content creation, um, I recommend checking these ones like smooth edges of screen fonts, show thumbnails instead of icons, save taskbar thumbnail previews. 
those three are the only ones I really think bothered me. But again, this is all totally up to you guys. So basically what that'll do is every time now, like when you click stuff, it's just, it opens and there's no cascading visual effects. There's no fading in and out. And that can actually speed up your PC, um, make it work a little bit quicker. The next thing we're gonna take a look at guys is actually your power settings. This actually can affect PCs as well as laptops. So don't think um, if you're on a PC, this won't help. It actually does because power settings um, are actually gonna, they're basically designed to, uh, to limit how much power is going through your computer, whether it has a battery or not. So type in power, you'll get this option here. It says power and sleep settings. So click that. Once you open that, um, you'll see down here, it says performance and energy. So you can actually get better performance on your computer by sliding this slider all the way to the right for best performance. Um, now, if you have like a 1000 watt computer, uh, be advised this can mean that your power bill will go up a few bucks because what it's gonna do is use better performance. So using your, uh, your power supply unit more intensely, but therefore give you better better uh, performance when it comes through like all your hardware, your graphics card, your CPU, your motherboard, all that stuff will just, doesn't care how much power it has to use, it'll perform better for you, which is what you want if you're clicking on this video for the best, most optimal um, performance possible. So yeah, just slide that guy all the way over to the right. And there's more settings options. Once you do that, scroll down a bit further, you'll see related settings, additional power settings click that one so guys once you have this one pull it up here you're gonna see this option it says show additional plans don't worry about these preferred plans they're usually pretty dumb um, <laughs> they don't really help with uh, with raising your performance if you show additional plans um, I have a Ryzen CPU so it's automatically giving me Ryzen um, power plan options now there there's a bunch of them here You'll see one at the very bottom says ultimate performance, provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs. You can try this one. Um, you can also do this game fire power plan. I might do a video just testing different power plan options because all of these will actually be better. Um, the one I would say is probably your best option is going to be AMD Ryzen high performance. And if you're on Intel, this will say like Intel core high performance or something like that. It'll be uh, Intel related. So you're just going to click on the high performance one. That's all you need to do, baby. That should help with giving you better performance as well. So once you have all that done, feel free to close out that stuff. So the next thing we're going to tackle guys is startup apps and background apps. So by default, your computer is designed to run certain tasks in the background. It's also designed to start up with certain tasks. Um, which can mean that your system will run slower. And if you don't close them out, like during the course of the day, your PC will just be slow. So um, first let's, let's take a look at startup. So you'll see if you type in start, startup apps is up here at the top. Just click that one. And as you can see, these are all the apps that can actually run when you start up your computer. If you haven't taken a look at this, um, you will probably have everything on. <laughs> It'll just like, it shows all that stuff that's just ready to go right when you start your computer. I've actually gone ahead and removed all the ones I don't need, which is just my Realtek um, audio driver and Epic Games Launcher. Those are the only ones I care about because I'm always playing Fortnite, you guys already know. So I have Epic Games Launcher as my startup um, and that's really all there is to it. Now, um, once you have that taken care of, just go ahead and close out of that. You're golden, man. So guys, the next one we wanna take a look at is background apps. So you just type in background down here and in the top, um, go ahead and click background apps. These are gonna be all the apps that are designed to run in the background. And again, if you have a bunch in here that um, you never use, never want um, to ever use, just go ahead and make sure they're all turned off. I have all of them off except NVIDIA control panel. On a side note guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on the channel. You guys are absolutely insane. We just destroyed 5,000 uh, on the channel recently and subscribers. Couldn't thank you guys enough. Uh, it's really fun making all these guide videos, tips videos. Uh, let me know if there's anything you guys are needing any assistance with, whether it's boosting frames per second, um, reducing your input 
delay or um, lowering your, your ping in game. I want to know what's troubling you guys in Fortnite because I want to make videos that actually help you guys out. But once again, guys, my name's Cameron. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you guys have an awesome day and hope these Windows settings make you a true god at Fortnite. Peace out for now. Thank you.